J Jela. So here's the thing. I realized this a month ago. If one car, one car starting from point A going 50 kilometers per hour, and second car from point B going 90 kilometers per hour, both have to travel 280 kilometers to end. But question is, when do they meet each other? In two hours, because uh, 50 kilometers times 50 kilometers plus 90 kilometers equals 140, and whole distance 280 divided by 140 is two. So they meet in two hours. is very simple and much easier than uh, some countings. Uh, well, you wouldn't be counting it. You would just do the algebra for it, right? Physics for it. I haven't done this in 10 plus years and never understood it. Now I'm watching this and I'm starting to understand it nice. And that's what happens, uh, dragon, lich dragon. Um, after the fact, as you get older, it, some of the mathematics that you might have done in the past makes more sense because you have a logical uh, sort of life experience and things may, may make more logical sense. Uh, that's the way it worked for me anyway. Okay. And uh, la, if you want to do your question, okay, let's do this physics question. Let's erase this. Watch this. If I remember how to do it, I sure remember how to do it. Teacher, very cool, very cool, sleepy way. Here's two cars. Here's two cars. Boop. Oh, hold on. They're going to be. They would have to start at different times. We don't have a full problem here. Or are they traveling towards each other? We need one specification. I'm assuming they travel towards each other. Uh, going second car from point B. Hold on. I realized this a month ago. If a car starting from point A going, uh, a second car starting from point B, both travel, have to travel to to end the question is when did they meet i'm assuming they would have to be like this here's car a Whoop. car a is going 50 kilometers per hour 50 oops 50 kilometers per hour 50 kilometers per hour here's car b Car B is going 90 kilometers per hour. Car B is going this way, car A is going this way, and the distance between them is 280 kilometers. 280 kilometers. Where do they meet? Where do they meet? One car is on place A and second car going against them from the other side. Yeah, so this would be it, La. Right? So basically, we want to find out where they meet. And where they meet, if they leave at the same time, it would be the same time that they started, right? So your question is we need formulas for this and we need formulas for this we need our kinematics formulas um, the distance how should we do this uh, let me think about this for a second the distance should we do a distance time so distance equals velocity times time let's do this start off with basic equation distance is equal to velocity times time over here too distance is equal to velocity times time right now the total distance, this is D1, this is D2, this is D1, a V1, this is D2, and the time is going to be the same, right? When do they meet, not where? Yeah, when do they meet? Well, once you figure out the where, you can figure out the when as well, but you do this. Now the total distance, D total, is equal to D1 plus D2. Does that make sense? This distance plus this distance is equal to the total distance, right? So the total distance, D1 is V, 
1 t plus d2 is v2 t. And the total distance is just d total. Right? Now keep in mind, if they left at the same time, right, then their times is the same because their time of traveling, they left at the same time. When they meet, they would have been traveling the same amount of time. So t is the same for both, right? So d total is equal to what you can do here is factor out the t because this t is the same for both. So you factor out the t, it's common, right? And you got v1 plus v2. Well, we know what the distance is total, we know what v1 is, is 50, we know what v2 is is 90 so we can figure out the time so this becomes 208 oops 280 is equal to t 50 plus 90 so it's going to be 280 is equal to t times 140 and then divide by 140 so t is going to be equal to 280 over 140 the zeros kill each other and 14 goes into 28 twice so in two hours they meet does that make sense this is a nice question i like these physics questions fun physics we did math and we did physics good session yes you did it exactly how i learned it awesome and it's fun to do good problem right good job thank you very much la 